Uh, this time last year, I was in your shoes. I had just become a University Innovation Fellow, and I was at the Stanford DE School Meetup. In fact, you can see my unsuspecting face right in the back here, <laughs> surrounded, surrounded by these amazing people. Uh, during this weekend, uh, we had workshops at Microsoft and Google. And at one such workshop at Microsoft, we issued a challenge, a challenge that changed our whole direction for that entire year. This challenge was to improve inclusion and diversity for first year students. Now, we put our heads together. And well, first we went off and clarified that we could actually do it. I mean, we're from Australia, after all. Then we put our heads together and realized the best way to approach this was to get to the uh, root of the problem and to narrow in. And the way we did this was through workshops. As soon as we came back to Australia, we ran design thinking workshops with first year students and got them to identify issues and problems that they were facing. The biggest ones were um, they needed more coffee, and they needed uh, more study space, but also they're having trouble making friends. So inclusion was an issue on our campus. And as we kept running these workshops through the semester, it became clear that no international students were showing up. No international students were coming to any society events or clubs. So then we started exploring this problem. Why are no international students coming, g coming uh, to any events? So we asked ourselves, and we sought, sought out these uh, international students and ran more workshops, and we asked them. I mean, there's 14,000 of them on our campus. They make up 31% of our student body. They're not showing up to anything. And as we were running these workshops, the sa same issues were coming up. They were outright identifying and saying, that they had no local friends, which is crazy. I mean, you're on this campus for four years, four years of your life. And we were, so as we kept like digging down deeper, we kept um, running these and the same thing kept coming up and coming up. So then we started exploring this issue. How, how can you have no local friends for four years? And the reason they weren't coming to any society events is because they had no one to go with. They, they, didn't, they felt isolated on, in a uh, multicultural society. So we ran more workshops asking, why don't you have any local friends? And what it came down to in the end was it's an institutional issue. Our, our university during orientation day has two separate orientation days, one for local students, one for international students. There's no way for them to mingle. Most people form their friendships in the first couple of weeks of university. Once this is, we are ending up with two completely different communities on campus. So we knew we had to base our solution around this, around the orientation week. So we came up with a solution of randomly allocating people groups, both local and international students, and running activities on campus to try to encourage that mingling and to form those friendships right from uh, the first week. So we uh, pitched this to our university, our faculty, and we identified it. We got the discussion going. We showed them that there's an issue on our campus. The inclusion is an issue. Um, and they agreed they, and said next year they're going to try and reamp orientation week to try and fix this issue. But as UIFs, we are change bringers. We, we, we help the wheels of motion go forward in this gear of a university, where this little gear, trying to connect international students to our university by affecting 14,000 students potentially in five years. Not only are we inf um, improving their lives, we're improving the quality lives of everyone on our campus, of 40,000 students. So I challenge you this, just like similar challenge that we had last year. I challenge you to dig deep and uncover the real issues on your campus. <laughs>